Hi, I'm DJ Soka Sam. Um, I'm in Hackney in the UK and just want to talk a little about people being sex trafficked, people who are being harmed in a horrible way. Thank God I'm I am blessed that thank God that hasn't happened to me, but I've had many people confide in me about things which obviously are confidential. There was one young lady called Ori and she reached out to social media and she came on and she talked about when she was nine years old how she was sex trafficked out by a friend who tricked her into going to some kind of drug house at the time Ori's mom was in prison she, when she was like a baby and she was born in prison in a place called where is it called again um so she was born in prison so her mom her mom was fighting a um a murder charge so she was born in prison and by the time she was two years old she was um a, she was adopted by a woman a woman who worked three jobs to keep her ori is so beautiful she's a um mixed race she's one of the most beautiful people i know she's really nice um when i say i know i mean of her on social media so she works for a company now called Saving Innocence, that's in the United States. But what happened to Ori was like, by the time she was, let's see, her story started. Um, she's, she was 11 years old when it all started. She was raped by 7 to 15 men at a time. Um, after that, she said, you lose all hope, all feeling of anyone coming to help you, or even thinking that God's coming to save you. The whole point of this is I hope that this video reaches someone that's probably experiencing this. Um, hopefully social media will help someone. Social media can be a really bad thing because parents think, oh, it will never happen to my child. My child is very intelligent and wouldn't, you know, talk to strangers or get caught up in it. But if you're not monitoring what your children are doing, they could talk to the wrong kind of stranger. There's men out there grooming, not just children, but women too. They find women who have children. They pretend they want to get with you and really they're not looking at you at all. You give them a moment with your child and they will take advantage of your child. So you've got to be so aware out here of that. It's such a sudden situation and it's happening all the time. And justice is not always served. If that woman is too scared to speak up for herself or her child, you know, like they're just seen as if they're not well. People say they deserve it. People make think make you think like you're guilty. What was the word they used? Guilty, you feel shame, you feel disgusted. So people who have been sexually trafficked or raped can feel guilt. They can feel like they're disgusted. They can be made to feel shame. Anyway, this young lady called Ori, she was raped by the time she was um, not judged. Basically, she was abducted out to this woman. And um, basically... A family friend by the time she was eight years old she was molested by a family friend by the time she was nine years old she was raped in the house by someone else this woman was working three jobs to keep this foster child in care which was Ori and she was raped by someone who came into her home no justice was served she didn't receive any counseling she had no one to talk to but this woman this woman is alone mom well now becoming a mom from adopting Ori um the you know there was no consequences for the person that did this because the mom was too frightened to speak up she never ever had a com conversation with ori about it ori is so beautiful now she's a mom she in 2019 she gave birth to a beautiful girl i believe or just before and she's a mom she said she's always been a fighter she had to be bold and brave for herself and now the word fight she used to always fight fighting was her thing because after being sex trafficked and hurt and abused for many years she was she was in the bad situation from the time she was left when she ran away from home when her mom couldn't help her at nine and she by the time she was uh so she ran away at nine by 11 she was sex trafficked by a guy who groomed her and took advantage of her because she needed shelter she needed clothes she needed food she had no one else to go to so from the age of 11 to 15 years old, she said just in the first year, she was raped 
over 4,000 times by different men. When she didn't do what she was told, she was beaten and dragged. It's a sad situation because in London, I don't think we're... Yeah, of course, people are exposed to the same kind of trafficking, but in, in their levels of foreign countries, especially in the States, it seems it's so much more... It's bad to say the norm, because that's not quite the right word, but it's like people just think, oh, like, what's the fuss about? As if people almost just see it as, oh, it's always happening, but that shouldn't be the case. It's a disgusting thing to happen for someone to abuse you sexually, rape you, traffic you. That's just like, it's just a no-go, you know. Um, uh, Ori's beautiful, like I said, she's a mom herself, so she's going to give to her child all the things that perhaps she feels she didn't get as a child. If you're out there and this is happening to you, I hope you get to see this or you get to see something online that helps you because there are people online that can pretend to help you and also take advantage of you. So you've got to be aware of that. There are people that are forced into marriages. Then from running away from their marriage, they find themselves in a situation where they're somewhere in a hostel or in some kind of home and they're lonely. Even as a child in a home, sometimes the workers take advantage of you. You're not always safe. So it's wow like i said london we're in a fortunate place like london where this is less likely to happen but it doesn't mean it doesn't happen because i've had a few people in care who this has happened to obviously confidential cases and that confidentiality is big but it has happened they've escaped from their home only to go into a home to be abused by staff so i don't know man it's just a messed up world out there um on dr phil there was a few women Say you know, and on different shows, but there was a woman in particular who was saying she had been raped from as young as two years old, which is wow, just like disgusting. She was groomed from as young as two years old, and she's a grown adult. And she said, even though she still feels a victim, she has the nightmares, it never kind of goes away. And there was also another woman who claimed, called Rachel, who claimed she had been um, a victim of the child sex abuse and child sex trafficking. Which, by the way, she talked, I believe she was. Which what she's done is left her in a kind of delusional state. So she feels like people are always coming for her. As if these traffickers are always coming to revisit her and take her away from her home. She has a husband. She has children. And she still feels like every time the phone rings or these traffickers approach her that she has to be, um, what's the word, obligated to do what they say. Which is kind of a sad situation to live in. Anyway, I'm not going to go on too long. I think I've gone on enough. But the point is, it's just so sad to see. Um, it's just so sad to see all this um sex trafficking, grooming. And hearing about it, it's really distressing. It doesn't mean because it's not happening to you, you should feel a little less distressed. I hope God helps those people to help themselves to get out of it. If no one else is helping them, you know. Authorities aren't always good. They don't always pay attention. You go to the police sometimes and you're disbelieved, which has happened in a lot of the cases where people have been raped or their children have been abused or even children speaking out. So, from Soka Stanley Hackney, peace out. Um, on that note, try to have a calm day. And if anyone is telling you something, don't just disbelieve them. Sometimes you could be the only person they have to confide in. So, take whatever they say seriously until proven otherwise. Sometimes someone could just need help. Because they've had a bad sexual experience, they've been abused as a child sexually, or they are being sex trafficked and they have no one else to tell. You might be their only line of hope. Honestly, in this, please leave any messages if you are in trouble. And hopefully, we can help to help those who are in trouble. Peace out, Sokka-san. Nightly, East London. Bye.